Today I'm going to show you how to earn free Robux in the shortest amount of time possible. We'll be using Microsoft Rewards and I'll show you some tricks that would help you accomplish the given goals in the fastest time possible. However, there are some things that you would be needing in order to make this work. So the first one is pretty obvious, you need an email to make Microsoft Rewards work. Secondly, you need to have a valid phone number, because the reward system is based on an OTP service and they usually send you an SMS code after you submit them your number. If you don't have a personal phone number then you can try using someone else's, or perhaps even try getting a virtual one. Okay, now that we are done with the basic requirements, it's time to start the video. First off, open up Microsoft Edge and then type in Chrome Web Store. After entering the store, in the Extensions tab, search for Touch VPN. Install the one with the highest ratings. Now, close the tab and enter rewards. Depending on what country you are from, the amount of rewards or the point basis of the rewards may vary. For example, I'm from Bangladesh and as you can see most of the tasks are already done, and that's because that unlike other countries, the rewards for my country doesn't refresh as often. That's where the VPN comes into play, but before doing so, make sure to complete the tasks for your home country first. So first click on point breakdown, and then click on PC search, which would redirect you into this news tab. Over here you can type literally anything you want, and it would get you either 3 or 5 points, depending on which country you're doing and what the point basis in that country is. Okay guys slight pause in the video to mention that rewards has two levels, level 1 and 2, and the way you progress is by earning at least 500 consistent points under 30 days. Afterwards, you also need to ensure you earn at least the same amount of points every 30 days, otherwise you would be demoted back to level 1. Level 2 has a higher point basis compared to level 1 and in some select few countries, it offers more tasks to complete as well. Okay, back to the video. Now, once you're in the news folder, all you need to do is type the letters of the alphabet. This seemed like the most efficient way to me and hence let's go ahead and do that real quick. If you've passed elementary school you'd know that typing out all the letters would result in 26 searches, hence getting 78 points total. You can search for anything random as well to fill up the remaining points. Like I said in the beginning of the video, if you are using Microsoft Edge, then you automatically get the 12 Microsoft points. If you want then you can download Microsoft Edge on your phone as well and then sync your account and do searches from there, but my phone is really trash lol and it doesn't have sufficient space to download the browser, so I'm skipping this stage. Okay, now you need to see if there's any new task in your feed. If there is, you simply need to complete them and finally ensure you've got the maximum points available. The timer shows the precise time I needed to complete stage 1, and now we'd be heading off to stage 2. Okay so stage 2 is basically the exact same thing but with VPN. Using Touch VPN, set your location to America. When you're done, refresh rewards, and you should be able to see a completely new interface. What we did here, was basically just change the location of our country so that rewards thinks it's a different user. Now whatever points you get while you have the VPN on, it would actually add to the actual points you had accumulated before. Let's finish these tasks real quick and then we'll see how many points we actually accumulated overall and how much time it took us. While you a time lapse of the upcoming 14 minutes which demonstrates how I complete the tasks, let me describe a bit about the pros and cons of using the VPN trick. Basically, you need to accept that touch VPN wouldn't necessarily work 100% of the time because it's a free VPN and it gets high traffic sometimes due to other users using it. So if you implement this but the pages take longer than what took in this video, it is either your internet, or, in majority of the cases, the VPN extension to blame. Secondly, there's tons of videos on YouTube about how to finish these tasks in the quickest ways possible, you can check them out or follow the instructions that I'm about to say. Basically in the majority of these tasks, picking the correct answer isn't necessary but it does reduce your time if you only decide to pick the correct ones. It completely depends on you, but for instance if the VPN performance is poor while you're doing the tasks, simply open a new web page and then copy paste the question. Bing would most likely give you a highlighted answer but if it doesn't, scroll around the page for the solution. So as you can see, it took us about 14 minutes and now if we refresh back after turning off the VPN, you can see that the points have been added into our actual account. There's more location to try but I highly suggest not doing so, because Microsoft rewards may crash for a long period of time if the VPN method is implemented repetitively. So try sticking around to doing just one location per session. 
We have gained over 600 points in just around 20 minutes, which is 40% of the points we need to get to our goal. This shows that we only need just a little over an hour in 3 days total time to get 100 Robux. Let's jump a bit forward in time to see what future me did in the upcoming 2 days or so. By the way here's a fun fact that's gonna get you more Robux, 99.5% of the audience who watches my videos are not subscribed to the channel. If you're liking the video so far then please subscribe, it would be highly appreciated and would give me the support to make more helpful videos like these in the near future. Okay guys, this is me 3 days into the future and as you can see I am really close to getting to 1500 points. As you can see right now, yesterday I earned a significant amount of points using the VPN method so today I'd only be earning throw my home country. And there we go, we finally accumulated a total of 1500 points and now it's time to redeem my reward. Head over to redeem, click on the Robux gift card tab and then confirm your reward. If this is your first time redeeming then it would ask your phone number for verification, but here it didn't. This doesn't change the fact that you can use rewards without having a phone number though. Anyway, I got the pin from this menu later on and I have to use this on roblox.com slash redeem in order to redeem the robux. And there you go guys, 100 robux credited to my account. I hope I was able to help at least some of you through this video, make sure to join my discord server for robux giveaways. I'll see you on the next one, till then, goodbye.